Okay, this is Nutrition Hero number nine, uh, Nathan Pritikin. So here's a book by Nathan Pritikin called The Pritikin Program for Diet and Exercise. And this is from a while ago, but it's amazing how much this guy knew way back when. This book came from like 1979, but what can I tell you about it? Here's a, just a quote by Nathan Pritikin. The most important thing I learned from Nathan Pritikin was a quote by him, fat is bad. The more he looked at fat, the more problems he saw with it. And here's one thing he wrote. He said, um, many persons recommend getting your dietary fat from the average American of 40 to 45% down to 30%, but we feel that fats are so dangerous, you should really lower them to no more than 5 to 10% of your diet. Okay, that's a pretty low diet. Typical vegan diet is 80-10-10, so 80% carbohydrate, 10% protein, and about 10% fat. And he's saying, yeah, keep it down around 10 to 5, 5 to 10%. And that to me sounds correct based on everything I've read. So I just tell you at a bottom end, you go through this book to look like a little tiny old paperback book, but man, you get into the research studies, he goes through all these detailed research studies of the effects of high dietary fat on worsening blood flow. Um, so he's very much well worth And I realize that persons with a lot of experience in the vegan community, they already know about Nathan Pritikin. The reason I make these Nutrition Hero videos is for the persons who have less experience and they want to learn about where's the good, the good stuff, the good information. Nathan Pritikin is very much worth studying. Um, he was just a really brilliant guy. He would attend college classes for free, just listen in on them. Back in those days, there was no internet uh, because he wanted to learn. He was diagnosed himself with coronary artery disease and then he figured out how to control or perhaps reverse his disease in the sense that his symptoms, uh, he dramatically improved. He had failed the treadmill test. Um, and he studied things like the rationing to World War II and he noticed that populations that were no longer able to eat meat they had a reduction in coronary artery events. Even the fact that they were stressed out was not as important as the fact that they reduced their dietary lipid and meat intake. You know, he noted things like epidemiology patterns of the Tarahumata being incredibly healthy in northern Mexico in comparison with the Pima. And the fact that they could run you know, 100 miles in two days, you know, it's extraordinary health for, you know, numerous different men, not just some isolated individual. Um, there's a lot of online videos of Dr. Um, I'm sorry, he's not a doctor, Nathan Pritikin, just a brilliant guy uh, talking about nutrition and diet and health, including an interview with Dr. McDougall. So you can watch him online if you want to learn more about him. His book's very good as well. He opened up a fitness center. I think it's in Florida now, um, you know, that sort of teaches his ways of um, improving health. And he wrote, of course, like I said, some books. And then he, at his autopsy, he allowed his coronary arteries to be looked at, and he had obtained clean coronary arteries despite his you know, much younger years when he had coronary artery disease. So he's another one of the great heroes of nutrition.